fam? It's your girl Q back at Blessed to Be a Blessing where we are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel tonight. Listen, I'm here with a Monday mukbang or should I say mukbang Mondays and I'm picking up mama right now. We're about to go to this place called the Scrimp Shack and that's right. I said it right. You heard it right. Scrimp shack all right so once we get there we get our food and everything i'll come back and let y'all see what it is see what it looking like what it tastes like and then we'll go from there all right see y'all in a minute all right fam welcome to the scrimp shack it says eastway north carolina but we're really in charlotte it's on a street called eastway but anyway here they are about family food and faith this is just some of the uh, items they have. They actually have the menus on the wall. So I'm showing you guys this. Uh, the family bundle is what we're getting. This one for $21, which is a half a pound of fish, 10 shrimp, a box of fries, 10 hush puppies, and a gallon of tea. There's mama. Hey, mama. She's saying, hey, y'all. I had to do a voiceover because they um, play music in the background. I mean, like, they be really jamming, too. Okay. So anyway, this is what we're about to get. And... Now, y'all can see me talking, and I'm fussing too, honey, because we waited so long for this food. Now, that's the shrimp. Now, this is supposed to feed two people. Look at that little bit of shrimp uh, fish, y'all. I can eat that by myself, okay? And then the shrimps, 10 shrimp. They are big shrimp, though, and uh, those hush puppies and a uh, big old thing of fries. The fries were warm. Uh, why they weren't hot, I don't know. That fish, I'm like, uh we ordered the catfish, so with this combo, you can get catfish or whiting. So, we got catfish, and this actually, when we tasted it, it wasn't really catfish. I think it was like uh, that fish called sway that, um, that people sometimes pass that off as catfish, but child, it wasn't the real deal, okay? I grew up eating catfish, so I know catfish when I'm eating it, but nonetheless, it was still okay. It was good. I just think the portions were small. Um, they do have their own look cocktail sauce and their own tartar sauce. So just wanted to show y'all that. And um, but yeah, we had this combo before, and we had like big pieces of fish and a lot more. So I don't know if like you know they're just getting skimpy like every other restaurant in this here pandemic. You know, stuff just ain't the same no more. So I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a little taste of that. Mm-hmm. It was still good now. It was good. But I was low-key hangry up in there. First of all, I had waited so long. And then, this wasn't even enough food, child. When I left there, how about we was hungry? Honey, we left trying to figure out what we was going to go eat, child. <laughs> we were still hungry, y'all. At least I know I was. I was a little upset by that, too. Because never in my life have I ever gone out to eat and then left hungry. Okay. <sighs> nonetheless it is a good restaurant we have two of these in charlotte i think they started in virginia if i'm not mistaken but when they first opened up maybe about a year a couple years ago everything was just bumping i'm talking about the lines would be all the way out the door People couldn't wait to get in there. The owner, he would always come out and greet you. Like, he would greet each customer personally and, you know, sit down and have a little chit-chat with you and everything. Really, really nice environment, good atmosphere. Um, but, I don't know. You know, the customer service fell off a bit this time, you know. And, you know, the manager wasn't there, so maybe that's why there's a shrimp. But the shrimp is big, though. You see how big it is, right? Yeah, and it's hot. So everything, you know, everything except for the french fries was hot and fresh out the grease. But as far as customer service, it took too long to get the food. And then it looks like the portion sizes are kind of like going down. So I don't know. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up for y'all. Everything was, it was good. I won't complain about that. I just felt like it wasn't enough and... We had to figure out what we was going to go eat later, although we didn't. We ended up, like, shopping and doing a few other things, and then uh, later on that evening, we did get us something else to eat, but 
it is what it is if you ever are here though and you want some good fried fish and some good shrimp i would say still this is a good place to visit um this is the only time we've been here several times but this is the only time where we weren't really happy with the service um or the portions but the taste is still there some good food it really is y'all so anyway i'm just gonna speed on through this and uh, say thank you guys so much for joining me here on this mukbang mondays for the good voiceover and review of the scrimp shack in charlotte north carolina have a good day, day.